Hello, and welcome to the Mitchell Consulting's webinar series for Mitchell University. Today we're going to be working with SAP Business One, and we're going to be reviewing the Document Generation Wizard. For the purpose of the demo today, we're going to be using SAP Business One version 9.0. But this functionality is available in the eight versions as well. And the document generation wizard, what it allows us to do, it's a batch processing system, which allows us to take documents such as sales orders and batch them into deliveries or batch them into AR invoices. As we know from working with SAP, uh, the relationship map of the document is we can actually bring the document along. So for purpose of the demo today, I'm going to actually do one manually, which is the standard way of doing it, and then we're going to go to the document generation wizard. And this is being recorded. This will be available on our website. So you can visit us at www.michelgroup.com to view this plus our others in our training series. So let's look at a simple process, and then we'll go through it. We're going to go here into Sales and AR. And we're going to start with a sales order. Let's go to sales order. Open up our sales and AR. Go to sales order. And here what we're going to do is we're going to enter a sales order. And then we're going to take that sales order and actually create a delivery. Wait for our sales order to open. And so here we're going to go. We'll do a simple one. We're going to go and we're going to create a sales order. And we're going to select the sales order here. And we're going to enter an item. Okay, I'm going to take these three items here. So we're going to go ahead and put the delivery date of today. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add this sales order. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and after we add the sales order, we're going to then take this sales order and we're going to bring it into a um, delivery. So let's go ahead and add this. Now we're going to call it back up. And we're going to see here we have now. And then we can take this sales order and we can copy it to a delivery, to an AR invoice, and so on. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to copy it to a delivery. So what we're doing is we're taking the sales order and we're going to actually deliver. And again, for purpose of the demo, we're just going to deliver everything. But here we can make any changes on what we want to deliver. And you can see that this delivery is going to be 284. It's based on sales orders 323. So if we look here, there's the sales order. And we're going to go ahead and add the delivery. <laughs> so at this point, we're going to actually have the sales order is going to be closed, and we're going to have our delivery ticket. So let's cancel. Let's go back in, take a look at that. We can see we've closed. What we've done is we've taken this to the delivery. If we right-click and look at our relationship map, you can see we've done a simple process of taking the sales order here and then turning it into a delivery. So now, the document generation, which is what it allows us to do, is allows us to do that same process, but in a batch sense. So what we can do is we can take several sales orders and we can actually enter in here. So let's actually go cancel this. Let's see what kind of sales order. So let's say now we're going to go here. So you can see here we have a lot of sales orders. And then we have sales orders with different dates. So for example, here we're going to use the example of Earthshaker. We have all these sales orders here. Right? And what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these sales orders, for example, here. And you can see. And we're going to actually consolidate these into a delivery. And what we're going to do is, since we have these, these older ones, we're going to take, in this case, we'll take the ones from 2007 and 2008. We have those two sitting out there. So we have this one here from 2007. 
and we have this one here from 2008. So we have here document um, 110 and 142. And then you can see that. Now what we could have done <laughs> is we could do this, and again I'll show, we'll start the manual process and then we'll complete it with the wizard. We could go in to our delivery, as we know from working with the relationship map and the way documents work, we can actually go to our target document. So we can actually go to our delivery. We can put our customer in. Let's put in Earthshaker. We can do a copy from sales orders. And again, we can go ahead and we can grab a couple of these sales orders so we can actually take these two. And we can choose them. And again, we can bring the data in this way. So what we've done is we've taken those two orders and created a delivery. Now, the document generation wizard is going to do the same process, but we're going to actually do it on a bad scale. So again, I'm just doing this for one customer like Earthshaker. But what a lot of our clients do is that at the end of the day, they do batching. So what they do is they have several sales orders from several clients. And then the warehouse packs everything, and they're going to actually deliver. So they're going to deliver for maybe 30, 40, 50 different customers. So they don't want to do this one at a time. They want to batch everything up. And based on dates and information here, they can do that. Let's cancel this. And now let's go into the um, document generation wizard. So here we're going to go under sales and AR. We're going to go into our document generation wizard. And this is going to guide us through the wizard like the other wizards we have in SAP. So we're going to click Next. <laughs> so again, you can see we have a couple here. We can create a new one. Uh, let's just create a new one here, and we're going to call this um, call this new demo. And the nice thing about this is we can actually create these and use them again. So we can create a new one from scratch, or we can actually save it, and I'll show you how we can do that and use it. And again, for something that, let's say, an end-of-day process where at the end of the day you take all your sales orders and you turn them into AR invoices, you can set all the parameters here and then just call it up each day and change dates. So we're going to go ahead and just you know, create a new one so you can see how it works. So again, we're going to go next. And here's our target document. So what it's asking us, what do we want to do? So in the purpose of the demo, we're going to go from sales orders to deliveries. So our target document is going to be the delivery, just like we saw that copy from. This is going to be the posting date, so we're just going to use today's date. And we can do it for items, and we can do we can summarize by items and documents, and we can do also service-related um, documents. Service-related documents are um, sales orders that go directly to General Ledger. In this case, we don't use that. We're just going to go ahead and use items. We can also create a draft document. So what we can do is when we create this delivery, we can create it in a draft mode. So it's not a real delivery, so we can go back later and change it. Okay, I'm going to click Next. And again, here is what we're working at. So we're looking here uh, and what document types we're coming from. So our base, we're going to look at sales orders. Okay, And we can go posting date. So in that case, we can select the year. We can also go into expanded criteria. So here, typically what people do is they'll look at, say, a delivery date. So let's say we have sales orders in the system, and we want, a we want a delivery date as of tomorrow. So we can go ahead and up until tomorrow, we can put a date range in here, say from there to today, and then we can get everything with a delivery date up to that day. So the nice thing about this is that you're getting everything up to today's delivery date, so it'll take all those sales orders with a delivery date. Remember, when we look at an actual sales order, we can see that we have those dates on here. So if we go here to sales orders, you can see that we actually have delivery dates. So we can run this process this way. So we can say, give me everything with a delivery date up into a specific date. And that's typically the way it would be run in this sense, because what you're doing is you're actually shipping. So you'll be using a date like that. Again, it's up to the user on how you want to do it. That's one of the ways of doing it. You can also allow partial deliveries if you want to have things on back orders or allow negatives. You can also go into the expanded criteria here, which is nice. So you can grab any of this information here. So we can look at document numbers, sales employees, and again, all this information that's available in here. 
right? Let's just leave it like this. Let's go next. You can see how everything gets pulled up. And here we have our consolidated. So how we want to consolidate it. Okay, we want to do it again. We're just using system defaults, but we can do it by payment terms or by ship to types and so on. We can also do the expanded here, and we can go ahead and then again detail how we want to consolidate if we want. So here again, we're going to select the customers. So here we're just going to go here and we're going to add our customers. In this case, we just want our Earthshaker customer. So we're going to grab um, Earthshaker here. But again, we can do it by customers, by customer groups, and also by properties. Typically, we would do a select all because we're do, if we're doing deliveries based on dates, an example, that delivery date, we would just go here and select all customers. And again, you can actually deselect the customers when they come in here. So I could have done this. I could have done add customers. Let's say clear this and select all. So it would bring all my customers in, and I can just deselect the ones I want. So if I only want Earthshaker, I can also do this as well. But again, typically if you're dealing with the dates, you would want to pick everybody on here. So I'm going to click Next, and we have some information. <laughs> For example, if there's missing data or any accounting information or inventory, we have some options. We can skip to the next document, and we can skip to the next customer, and we can ask for user confirmation. This is for things, again, because of that concept of we may be consolidating by ship to addresses, and <laughs> there may be a problem with some of the ship to addresses. We may um, have document ownership turned on. We may have documents with different document ownership that we're consolidating. So basically, you can have the option of skipping, and which is the default, to the next document. Or you can do that. If you select user confirmation, it will stop and prompt you on what you want to do. So again, if you're doing a lot of these, you may want to do user confirmation okay, for any accounting irregularities and any inventory. Again, quantities may not be correct, units of measure may be different, and so on. So again, we're just going to click Next. And again, we have some options. We can just execute here. So if we execute this, we're not going to save the parameter. It's going to be a one-time thing. We can save the parameter and execute. Okay, So we're going to actually save it so we can call it up later or we can save an exit without executing. So we have those options. We're going to do the default. We're going to save this parameter so we can use it again, and we're going to execute. So we're going to click Next. Again, it's letting you know that running the wizard will create a number of documents. You cannot cancel the operation. So it's going to actually go ahead and create those documents. So we're going to run it. You can see here that it ran. Okay. It gave you some information here, some warnings. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so you can see the operation to save. We saved it complete. The document generation started. You can see here you got some information. You have an internal error here on a message. So we have some information here of what happened. We have some internal stuff, so we occurred again, right? Because we're, since we're using those dates, so here we can actually look at this information, and we can view it based on the message IDs, and then we can finish this. So if we go into our delivery, you can see here that the delivery didn't take. So we had a little error there, probably because of our date functions. So what we can do is we can look at that if we go here to our tools excuse me, our windows, and we look at the message log, we should be able to see here our message log. And you can see um, what happened. So again, we can look at information here. Sales order consolidation delivery failed. Okay, you can see here because we had a lot of deliveries and information on here. Okay. So let's do it again, and let's actually do a simpler one. So let's actually create a sales order. Because again, we're probably using those dates. So we're going to go here, and we're going to actually create one for Earthshaker. We're going to use today's date. I'm going to put a delivery date of tomorrow. OK, 
if you're going to look, look at this one here, okay, we're going to add that. So we're going to create this one here. And I'm going to go create one more. I'm going to put tomorrow's date. So we're going to go down to the document generation wizard. And again, we can call up an existing one. So we can just call up the one we had, our new demo, because we saved it. And we can make changes here. So we're going to keep this the same. So we're going to go to sales orders. And we're going to look at posting date of today. Or actually, let's do this. Let's look at a delivery date. Let's keep that blank. And let's look at a delivery date of tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to go here, next. Again, this is the information we're talking about. And you can see that it only, now you can see it picked up Earth Shaker because that's from our thing. We just want to use that one. And you can see it's remembering the asking user confirmation as we go through it. And we're going to run it. Okay, and we ran fine here. You can see that we're okay. Again, because we were using stuff that was from so from 2007, so we probably had some issues with some general ledger. So we're just going to go ahead and do this one. So now you can see that it completed fine. So you can see that delivery number 285 was created, and we consolidated two sales orders. So we consolidated sales orders 324 and 325. So we'll just leave that open for a minute. Let's go to deliveries. Let's call up our last delivery. And you should see that you can see delivery 285 was created, which is right here. And you can see it's coming from sales orders 324 and 325. And the consolidation. So we have that. And we can continue this on, too. So we can consolidate on, on the another information. We can actually later on take our deliveries and consolidate into AR invoices. Okay. So again, to recap what we went over today, we went over, we went over the document generation wizard. And what the document generation wizard allows us to do is basically take a document to its next level. As we know from working with SAP is, you know, we can typically start with a sales order and then we can turn that, that uh, sales order into a delivery. We can then turn that delivery into an AR invoice. We can do this from the, um, the base document being the sales order and copying to the target document being the delivery. Or what we can do is we can go to the target document, the delivery, and copy from the sales orders. And we can bring information in. The document generation wizard allows us to do that, but in a more batch type environment. So we can do this with several um, documents. Typically, this is done. Um, like we did the example, so what we can do is we can say, okay, we have several orders that have been entered, um, and all the orders are going to be delivered, let's say, tomorrow. We're going to pack everything to deliver tomorrow. So what we can do is we can run the wizard, and we can say we want to create a delivery ticket, which is our target document, based on sales orders, which is our base document, and everything that's going to be delivered, say, tomorrow. And you can see what it'll do is it'll go in and actually create that delivery ticket. Again, you can also do it as a draft. So it's a nice functionality in, built into SAP. It, again, allows us that flexibility of batching the stuff as opposed to doing it uh, one at a time. So that concludes our webinar today um, on SAP's Document Generation Wizard. As we talked about, this is being recorded. It will be available on our website. You can visit us at www.michelgroup. Uh, to view this plus our other training videos. And once again, we thank you for your time.